Welcome back to KABC, your classroom management station. I'm B Dog, and this is B Rad. Whoa, whoa. And we got a caller on the line with a dilemma. Caller, what's your problem? Hi, I'm a first year teacher, and I just can't get these crazy kids under control. Well, you're in luck, because we got some classroom management ABCs coming your way in sweet rap form. Y'all know I ain't passive when I step in the room. All my kids know that I'm assertive to boo. I constructively solve problems in a non-threatening way, and I'd really care to hear if you had something to say. Behavior and bullies are something that you're facing. Now calm down, take a breath, and you'll be okay. Just practice what you preach, teach. That's what I live by. If bullies still persist, then I gather my kids and, and try a classroom meeting. We'll meet you halfway. Talk about our feelings in the beginning of the day. We'll take our own turns and make positive choices. The consequence will surely be us rolling in Royces. Royces? Yeah, like the really expensive car. Oh, the car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks Roll. for clearing that Royces. up. Dreykus is the man with an educational plan. He knew everyone needs a room full of fans. If we aren't accepted, then we won't feel protected or respected, and our learning games will stay undetected. State them up front, and your kids won't be tripping. tripping. Walking down the halls, no running or Skip skipping. It. Concentrate on your work, and don't be distracted. distracted. Expectations are posted in my room. It's, it's happening. happening! First days of school are important to all, so don't fall short and drop the ball, cause you'll be the one to pay. You'll be the one to say, Oh man, this is a wasted day. One method I know to quiet the throng is a signal that's endorsed by some dude named Wong. Count up, count down, it don't make no difference, but giving me five is a matter of insistence. The greatest wealth is help, and that's not a new trend. So begin and end every lesson with a spin on safety for others, safety for mothers, safety for your father and your sister and your brothers. Ineffective teachers are unprepared. I didn't really plan this next part, so you go. Judicious discipline teaches children to learn that their main concern should be justice and freedom Cause one day they'll need them to lead them to equality, protected property And I guarantee that someday they're gonna see that they need you and me That they need community And in order to succeed they gotta believe in classroom family So can you feel me? Home, home, homie, you are what you eat. No, it ain't no great feat to pass all of those tests and achieve victory. We'll give you some brain food, so sit your bottom down. We'll give you some knowledge without no bounds. Love and logic, they go together like a classroom project. Effective if you're honest, you gotta make them wanna make the right choices by using their voices. Now you can share control, but they need to know that they take on the role of fixing the problems they create. And it ain't fate that I keep them straight. Cause I limit all their options so that either way, it's okay. We all seek to learn and learn how to grow to find out the things that we would like to know to inspire and motivate our students to work. These things go together like Spock and like Kirk. Hey teach, you better be aware of the negative students circle in the air, they're like vultures <laughs> waiting to pounce on the smallest chance that they can finally bring you down and at a first glance it might seem like warfare or a nightmare but when you get to know the kid and you see their suffering then you'll finally see their low self-esteem and high level needs and I know you can When mean. I say own, you say it Own it, it. Own it. it When I say own, you say it Own it, it. Oh, it! Practice procedures every single day. That's the way to get kids to stay on task. And if you ask me, then this is key for smooth transitions. You gotta see, look, and listen to pay attention. And not to mention the prevention of distraction. A reaction to an action that is not a satisfaction. So be ready, cause when the students get to class, everything should run steady. Don't launch into lecture, you're only making a victim. Ask questions that'll lead you to find out how they tick it. Kids will tell you in their own words what you saw occurring to fix it for the future. So let's get empowered! Teachers should see that responsibility can begin with reinforcement. If it's positive, then kids will try to give all they can and we can plan on gradual release of jobs and routines and even decrease the amount of elbow grease that we pour in every piece of curriculum. It ain't tricky, son. In fact, I know for sure that it can be done. 
If bullying occurs at your dear school, you might ask, what's next and what's a teacher to do? To examine this issue in any great depth, I would highly recommend using second step. The most important 20 seconds goes like this. Hey, teacher! Teacher! Ah! I guess I'll get started with my work. I try to keep it real and not jump to conclusions. Seek first to understand, then see how we're doing. If my kids get in some trouble, I'll try with all my might to see what's happening after the class or at night. Don't get in arguments, because victims always win. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay, dude. Find a common ground and start a conversation. Give empathy and sympathy, but don't give in. Last name Wong. First name Harry. He manages his class so well, it's scary. He has so many procedures, it'll make your head spin. Routines that are to die for, with them you'll win. Xenophobia is the fear of anything strange, like change or a classroom that gets rearranged. Balancing the stress is nothing less than our best. Effort for acceptance and the things we can test. You create that management and you, you manage that discipline and you, you plan and organize read the first days of school. school. And you, you have done all your research and you, you are gonna make it work and you, you be faced with stress, but it all comes down to you. you. Zero tolerance, enough said. No, um, seriously, it kind of speaks for itself. Well, caller, I hope that helps you. Yeah, I that really gives me a lot to think about. You know, good strategies to use and so effective now. You bet your bottom dollar that you are. Hey, thank you, caller, and thank you all of our wonderful listeners for listening straight from KABC's Classroom Management Presentation. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Good night and goodbye.